The modern man is stressed. This is due to the great emotional stress that captures the inhabitants of cities every day. You can resist stress and you can avoid it, but the main thing is to understand when this ailment has entered your body. Today on Facts and Box, we'll take a look at how the body responds to stress. Nervous System The sympathetic nervous system turns on when we are under stress. This is one of the mechanisms of a stress response. The parasympathetic nervous system acts like a break, helping us relax and turn off the stress response. The stress response is triggered in the brain, and then the signal goes through all the nerves, stimulating various organs, including the stomach, heart, adrenal glands, and lymphoid organs. This is where all T cells mature and develop. Our sympathetic system triggers the so-called fight-or-flight reaction. Its first manifestation is an increase in heart rate. There are two reasons for this, but our body also has an antidote for this. The parasympathetic nervous system comes into play, which should turn off the fight-or-flight reaction and thereby help us return to a state of equilibrium. Hormonal System The second stress response mechanism is the triggering of a chain of hormonal reactions in the brain. A chain reaction begins in the hypothalamus and pituitary glands, areas of the brain that regulate the hormonal system. The pituitary gland secretes hormones, which, in turn, stimulate all endocrine glands, including the thyroid gland, adrenal glands, and ovaries or testicles, to produce their own hormones. When a stress reaction is triggered, the hypothalamus begins to secrete corticotropin-releasing hormone. Then, the pituitary gland secretes a hormone called adrenocorticotropin. This causes the adrenal glands to secrete the main stress hormone cortisol. Severe and sudden stress leads to an increase in cortisol levels. Cortisol causes an increase in blood sugar to provide energy for the hit or run reaction. This is the main anti-inflammatory hormone that suppresses the cells of the immune system and prepares the body for possible damage. Feel A reaction to a stressful situation can be acute, but it can also last after the situation is resolved. A person begins to feel anxiety or pain in the neck or back. Common symptoms include palpitations, headache, tension, stomach pain, diarrhea, or constipation. Symptoms such as dry eyes, dry mouth, cold hands or feet are also possible. If these feelings do not go away after a while, you may find that you often started to get sick. Effects of Stress If you often experience stress, then you will face terrible consequences. This manifests itself in increased or decreased appetite, a decrease in bone density, mood swings, decreased sexual desire, impaired memory and learning ability, a change in menstrual cycle, and a decrease in muscle mass. In general, a little unpleasant. Under stress, hair also falls out, nails break, and skin becomes dry, and the face takes on a pale color. How to avoid stress? There are many ways to get rid of stress. First, eat healthy foods. Be sure to include fruits in your daily diet. Breakfast should be nutritious and proper. Do not eat at night. This is stressful on the body. It's recommended to sleep at least 8 hours a day, and it's better to fall asleep before midnight. Include sports and outdoor walks in your life. A great way to get rid of stress is to do yoga. In addition, sport is responsible for the production of endorphins. To get rid of stress, it is recommended to get rid of bad habits. Eliminate all stress factors from your life. Watch your mental health and make time for you. If you want more videos on this subject, then let us know in the comments below. Also, remember to like the video and subscribe to the Facts and Box channel. New videos await you every week.